it's Cece and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on that link or that thumbnail, the picture of my face, the words above the side below it. I don't know what you clicked on, you know what you clicked on, but whatever you clicked on, thank you for clicking on it. I'm so glad you are here. So for today's video, I am obviously doing a Thanksgiving hair and makeup look. I mean hair and makeup look, but the most exciting part about this video is that it is a collab with one of my best friends, Anna Mason Moore. I met her through Instagram and we like planned this whole thing with two other girls. Before we knew it, we were flying to California for VidCon, so it was so much fun. I'll link some of those videos down below. But this is a Thanksgiving fall collab and she's doing Thanksgiving outfits, um, I think three or four, and I'm doing the hair and the makeup. Yeah, make sure you check out her video. I will link it down below and subscribe to her channel because she is literally the coolest person ever. So before we get started, make sure you like and subscribe. Join this dab family. Hey! Don't forget to check out Anna Mason's channel and video and everything. It's going to be great. And if you put the looks together, you're going to look bomb AF on Thanksgiving. So yeah, if you want to see how to do uh, this makeup and this hair, then let's get into it. Okay, so I hate my life and I started my hair and I literally wasn't recording. God is trying me with this video right now. Oh my God. I've like had to do this like three times already, but so for the hair, I'm doing something really easy guys. And oh my gosh, I'm so mad. So you're just gonna wanna section your hair off, half up, half down like this. And I straighten my hair because I like my hair better when it's straight, especially if I'm wearing it down. And so yeah, I just straighten my hair. Um, I have a chi, which is what I use to straighten it. And like I said, you just take your hair and section it off half, half up, half down. You're going to want to pull this bottom half of your hair away so you don't get it like in the way of the top half. So English is not a hard language. It's literally the only language you know, so you should be able to speak it a little better than this. So yeah, I just, I had like the top half of my hair like for half up, half down. And then I just found my middle part right here and I split it. And so I already did this one obviously because I realized I wasn't recording, but I would usually do like a French braid into this, but I'm not that good at braiding and it just like wasn't looking good and it looks way better my roommate does it. So um, I'm just gonna do normal. Obviously you can do a braid. I think that's super cute and if you have a little bit more time, but I'm also in a time crunch. So um, I just decided to just do like regular and I wanna make it as even as possible. Obviously you don't wanna look goofy. And okay, cool. So then I have these two little things. I have a little bump here, but I'm just gonna bobby pin it like once I'm done. You have your two little like space kind of things. This is like so like EDC, yeah. Whatever EDC is, that's kind of like what this is like giving me the vibes of. So I'm gonna curl it so it's not as like, you know, a little girl fairy-ish, but this is like what it looks like from far away. This is just the front. Here's the side, I can't, my hair's kind of long. And there's the back. And I'm just going to go into my bathroom and curl it really quickly. I use a Conair wand to curl my hair. And so um, it's not hard at all. If you have any questions about curling your hair, comment down below. I would love to answer them. And then obviously I'll just curl the rest of my hair. So I will be right back. Okay guys, so I curled my hair and this is what the final hair looks like. I think it's just such a cute like little hairstyle. And obviously you can put them as far back as you want, as high as you want, braid them as like whatever you want, I don't freaking know, but this is like the full look, and I'll, I sprayed it with a little bit of hairspray just to like, so they don't fall out super duper quickly, and this is the back, what it looks like, you know, and, oh, okay. It's fine, it's just my makeup. And yeah, so that's the hairstyle, super duper easy. If you have any questions, comment them down below. And we're gonna go ahead and get into makeup. If you can't tell already, I went ahead and did my foundation just because like, I don't wanna keep you guys here forever. And I'm also on a time limit like I told you guys. Yeah, I feel like foundation is like one of those things where it's like unless you're doing like a full coverage foundation like tutorial, then you don't really need to do them because I feel like everyone has their own foundation routine at this point in your life. And if you don't, I'm just going to show you the products I use if you're curious real quickly. I also did my eyebrows already. Hopefully you can tell. I use CoverGirl Queen Collection CC Cream as like my foundation just because I don't like something too heavy on my face. I use this Sephora um, concealer 
it's called it's bright future in the shade bright future so that's what that looks like sonia whatever i use that as like a little bit of a bronzer it's super shimmery as you can see so like i have to you have to be careful but i figured you want this look to be kind of like warm just because you know fall tones are like warm browns oranges and stuff so i wanted to be like a warmer look and i use this as my um for like just like a little tiny tiny bit of contour um, it's the NYX Wonder Stick, so I've had this forever. I really, really like it. For brows, I actually used three products for brows. Um, I have this NYX Tinted Brow Mascara. Then I go in with the Chocolate Brownie Cocoa Powder Brow Pencil. Is Too Faced, their chocolate collection. And then just to finish it off, like to go in on any places that I miss, like precisely, I, I'm using the Precisely My Brow Pencil from Benefit Cosmetics. And so that's what this looks like. And so I'm gonna go ahead and do blush highlighter and then get right into the eyeshadow for the blush I am using makeup revolution the matte blush in the shade nude it's kind of weird because it's not nude it's pink it doesn't make any sense but this is what it looks like it's very nice it's pretty pigmented so you just have to like use a little bit and then just kind of shake your um, brush off I'm using the real techniques blush brush and I'm just gonna go ahead and brush that onto the apples of my cheeks and you want it to be you know warm after that I'm gonna go in with my makeup revolution vivid baked highlighter in the shade golden lights I love this highlighter it's super pigmented and super shimmery and it's very cheap makeup revolution is not expensive and I really like it my friend and I did blindfolded makeup tutorials and she wrecked this highlighter I will link that video down below <laughs> go watch it it's really funny but she literally just took this fan brush and like shoved it in the highlighter and like my face I was crying I was like please stop um, yeah so I'm just gonna take that on this fan brush and go ahead and just highlight oh it's so shimmery I love it I'm glowing this is beautiful great love it and I'm just gonna put a little bit on the tip of my nose just because I love that little shimmery look so cute I don't know what the flip is wrong with me today y'all I have a headache I'm supposed to drive four hours home I haven't packed you can see my suitcase behind me I'm literally a mess and a half and I'm supposed to meet this girl for lunch in like 30 minutes and it's not gonna happen in 30 minutes because I'm filming obviously and like yo I'm not gonna have time and I have to do my laundry and I'm just like a little stressed but it's fine and um, I asked her if we could push it back and she didn't respond to me so I hope she doesn't just show up at this place because I'm not gonna be there okay so we're gonna go ahead and go into the eyeshadow which is everyone's favorite part so I'm going to be using the morphe 35o palette this is what it looks like it's like the fall palette I feel like these are all the shades I've had this for like almost exactly a year now and as you can tell this color I just uh, dropped it <laughs> on the ground and this color fell out and then I'm only starting to hit the pan on this color right here because I use this literally like almost every day but all the other colors like have lost lasted me so long okay whoa it's like really overexposed here hello I'm gonna take this little just round fluffy almost blending brush and I'm just gonna go ahead and go in with the color that I hit pan on. It's just like this brown that's like slightly darker than my skin. And so I'm just gonna go in with that and just brush that pretty much all over the lid, just like the lid and the crease. Once that is on my lids, as you can see, we're gonna do a little bit of, I think I'm gonna do a little orangey. I'm not gonna go like all the way to the right, the right of the palette. I guess it's like your guys's. No, it's still the right of the palette, right? If you're looking at it this way, it's like you're... But, yeah, so I'm just gonna go in. It's like a, almost like a burnt orange, but it's like a little bit darker. So it's this one right there that my finger is like kind of close to. <laughs> and I'm just gonna use this same brush. I'm gonna go in with that color. And I'm gonna start that on the crease, but I'm just gonna bring it into the lid as well. Yeah, so it just sits nicely like on top of it and it just keeps it like <laughs> warm. I have to like wear this out today so like gotta make sure it doesn't look like crap. I don't want this to be like too crazy or glam because it is Thanksgiving and like if you're wearing this on Thanksgiving it's just your family and like that family that you never talk to that come over for Thanksgiving. You know them, they ask how's school, how's college, what's your major, what are you gonna do with your life, who are you marrying, how many kids are you gonna have, where are you gonna live, you know what I'm saying? And it's like... Listen, I don't know. I had to make flurry for dinner last night, so I don't know. The color that's right next to the one I just used right there, it's just a little bit darker of one. And I'm just going to press that mainly in the crease 
I mean mainly in like the corner of my eye um, and it's just all just really adding like layers to the orange and the brown then I'm gonna go ahead and go in on one of the darkest browns in the palette just because it adds a lot of like um, depth to like the eye look or whatever but yeah so I'm just gonna use this it is definitely one of the darkest browns in the palette you could use this brush or you can go in with like a flatter more precise one to actually really press it in there and so I think that's what I'm gonna do so I'm just gonna go in on that really really dark color and press it right in the crease on that corner to give it like you see how much more like depth it has and it definitely like looks a lot warmer <laughs> I hate everything about this video. Once that is done, then I'm gonna go ahead and take this um, flat, like actually flat brush, and I'm gonna go into this one. It's like a shimmery brown. It's like within these three like oranges. I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna press that um, on the lid, like the actual lid. I think I'll go in just a tiny, tiny bit with this like really shimmery fun color just because it's fun and like red and you know Thanksgiving why freaking not you know so it's super pigmented and super sparkly so I'm just gonna press a little bit of that in to like the center part of the lid oh yeah I like that that's fun <laughs> oh, my friend texted me she said I said let's push it back 30 minutes she said yeah that's fine I just woke up um it's one o'clock Anyways, yeah, I'm just gonna press that in the bottom half of my lid. I love that. Why is that so fun? Ooh, -hoo. go Seuss, beauty guru. Hello. Can you tell I had no plans going into this video because I had no plans. I'm gonna just go ahead and blend that out a little bit. I just went back in with this like round brush. I don't know if you saw that. I just did a little quick one two switcheroo, but I did. Hopefully you caught it. And since I have this like flat brush already, I'm just going to do like the under eyeshadow. And so I'm going to mix the uh, like the initial burnt orange color that I used this one and just like a darker brown just so it like you can actually really see it. crap gets in my contacts and it hurts then I'm just going to go ahead and take this angled like fluffy brush I'm gonna go ahead and go in with just like a light whitish color I'm gonna start with this cream color and if it's not enough I'll do the white I'm gonna do that right here on the what is this called your brow bone like and subscribe definitely hey and I'm gonna take it on the inner corners of my eye, but then I'm also gonna go into my highlighter and put that on the inner corners of my eye just so they match. So I am gonna do lashes. I am gonna do them off camera though because it's really hard for me to like do them like right here. I need to be super close to the mirror, but I'm using Ritzy Natural Black kiss eyelashes this is what they look like focus camera focus camera focus 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 there you go i'm also gonna do liquid eyeliner it is the super slim um l'oreal infallible liquid eyeliner okay so i put my eyelashes on and i'm gonna put the Too faced better than sex mascara on them just to like you know kind of like blend them with my eyelashes okay so Honestly, not bad. And then I'm just going to um, do that on my bottom lashes too. Daisies. You see my dog in the background trying to eat my makeup? Girl, if you want a makeover, all you have to do is ask. Okay, so I just put that on my bottom lashes as well. Um, something really funny is that my dog just like uh, tried to eat my makeup brush. So I went to go grab it and um, I literally just grabbed the mascara. So that's fine. To finish this look, I'm gonna do some lips. I really was just gonna do a regular like lipstick, but I can't find any. So that leaves me one choice. I'm gonna use the Kylie lip kit. I lost the liner, so I'm just using the lip. I don't know, but it's brown, so that's what I'm gonna use. So last thing I'm gonna do is just spray my face with the Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray. That is it for this makeup and hair look. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did, even though I was very stressed for a majority of this video. Make sure you like and subscribe. Join this dog family. 
and make sure you go check out Anna Mason's video and subscribe to her because she is freaking awesome literally the best the coolest so i will link her down below make sure you watch her videos i hope you guys have an amazing thanksgiving fun family time eat a lot yeah i will see you guys in my next video actually i have an exciting announcement i'm going to be doing vlogmas so i'm really excited about that also kind of nervous but i'm so excited so make sure you subscribe so you're here for that and blah 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 I hope you have an amazing, fantastic, wonderful, beautiful, blessed by God and Unicorns Day and Week in Life. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!